Alright, my man, state your name and let them know who you be on Real Talk with Nick. No doubt, it's the predicate on Real Talk with Nick. The predicate, alright, man. We're gonna talk some Nick content, like always, man. Let's talk about the front office, man. Let's mm. start there, man. Is the front office the reason why the Knicks has been in a drought when we speak of a championship in over 50 years? And if so, how can we fix it? Well, the front office is definitely uh, the reason why the Knicks are, like, limited. You understand what I'm saying? Like, they sell tickets even though we don't make the playoffs in certain years. So, you know, to them, they like, yo, lead the team the way it is. You know, sometimes they don't want to make the team better because they're still making money. So you think the Knicks organization is taking finance over chips, over championships? Oh, most definitely. But wouldn't you think that a championship would bring more revenue? You would think that. See, but when you like making money consistently, you know what I mean, without having to make like a, a real championship contender, you're going to lead the team the way it is. That's why Kev is always mad with the front office. You know what I'm saying? Because he don't see them making no no proper changes. It's like, yo, take for instance, they got rid of Obi. Did we get better? Well, that's yet to be seen. I mean, he got traded during the offseason. Yeah. But who we picked up? We don't even know who we getting from. We got Defentenzo, but I'm saying, like, did we get better? Do you think we got better? I don't think we got better. So you say that to say... You answered your own question. You know what I'm saying? They ain't doing much. So, I mean, like, if you're going to get rid of Obi, you should send Obi to Detroit, got Bojan Bogdanovich. You know what I'm saying? You could have you could have got rid of Obi and a couple picks for Bojan Bogdanovich, put him in the starting lineup. You would have had a better starting lineup. You would have had another shooter to the lineup. But instead, you let him go for the picks you let him go for to Indiana. You know what I'm saying? So that don't make no sense to me. Like I'm saying, where are we getting better at? We was missing shooting in the playoffs. Am I right? True. I'll go with so, that. So, I mean, I'm trying to break it. And Randall's shooter. not it. Randall is not the sh- – he ain't consistent. Well, listen, Ju- Julius is a solid 25 and 10 during the regular season, but he need a fucking hypnotist to make him think that the playoffs is really the regular season or something because he don't oh, never shit. show up. Oh shit! So oh. can so can we get a can we get a hypnotist for my man? <laughs> Somebody to tell Julius Randle during the postseason that, that this is still the regular season. Exactly, and then maybe we could get the twenty seven and twelve that we supposed to get. You know what I'm saying from Julius in the playoffs? Because other than that, he ain't showing up in the playoffs. And speaking of Josh Hart, I heard you. I know you heard his new signing. They gave him eighteen mil. I mean, he deserved to get signed. I don't think he should have gave him that much, but he deserved to get signed. And what you going to give IQ? Now, if you give Josh that money, how much you going to give IQ? Because he's well-deserving of a contract as well. So how much you going to give Even IQ? more than Josh Hart. Exactly. Wow, I ain't even look at it like that, man. What you going to give IQ? What you got left over there? You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I don't understand the moves that they that they making right now. You know what I'm saying? So... So you think the Knicks is at risk of losing a man you quickly as well? Listen, it's a great possibility. Like, what you going to give him between 80 and 82 million when he asking for 100? You can't have four players on the team getting 100 million and he's not starting? Do you think he's even worth 100 million? Well, listen, if they got rid of that Evan Fournier contract, they might have some extra money to give IQ. But you got to get rid of Fournier, and you still ain't get rid of Evan. So where this extra money coming from? And even Evan Fournier, speaking of that, bringing that to bringing his name up, he letting out fire too. He said he don't understand the Knicks organization. If you didn't want to trade, if you didn't want me, why you ain't give me minutes so my trade value can go up? Exactly. They needed shooting in the playoffs. They could have put him out there for a couple minutes. He would have been a liability defensively. But you could have seen what he could have gave you, you know, as far as firepower offensively. Now, you can't get rid of him. Nobody wants him. You're going to have to load him with a couple of picks just to get rid of him. So now it's almost like you're stuck with him. And you, and, and you still got to give IQ the bag. So how does that work? Is Farnell a shooter in your eyes? 
Because he said, he's a, I'm a shooter. I was fourth in the league. I mean, that's what he do. As far as... Far as no, I mean, 48 can shoot, but he can't play no defense. We've said this numerous occasions. 48 can't guard a statue. You understand what I'm saying? We know this, but you still got to get rid of him. You know what I'm saying? We need shooters like Buddy Hill. You know what I mean? We need we need two, two-way two defenders. You know what I'm saying? Like Taylor Horton Tucker. We, Seth Curry. You know, spot-up shooters. We need shooters to compliment JB. You know what I'm saying? You can't have the momentum killer JB out there killing, and he ain't got nobody to pass the ball to but the water guard, Grimes, or RJ, you know what I'm saying, or Julius. You know what I'm saying? So we need some more weaponry. We need some offensive weaponry. We need some more shooters. But what is the front office doing? They bought us Dante DiFincenzo. So hopefully he packed his jump shot from Villanova. He bring it to New York and his game travel. Speaking of Villanova, I can't excuse me. You know what I'm trying to say? DiFincenzo. All right. Do you think the team they trying to, because he came from the same team, Jalen Brunson, Josh Hart, came from in college, right? When they're trying to build a, a chemistry, I understand. You know, you need chemistry. People need to understand you do need chemistry. But you're making a smaller. You got rid of Obi. You got Dante. You understand what I'm saying? They just they just uh, kept uh, Jericho Sims, so we still got Flight 45. Right. But other than that, I mean, like, how do we really get better? See, that's why I always say you got to get better during the summertime. You understand? So everybody raises their own individual skill skill level in order to get better. Because sometimes you can't go out and get the players that you need to complement what you have. So that's why I, I seek RJ playing in Canada. He getting busy. JB getting busy. You know what I'm saying? They're working on their games. I see Julius working on the physique, you know, like he normally do. But you know how I always say, put on them three-quarter sneakers. Stop sabotaging the season with – with ankle, you know, ankle injuries and things like that of that nature, and just get your mind right, Julius. Just get your mind right. How does RJ Barrett look in Canada from what you're seeing? I mean, is it the same old RJ? Do you see him trying me, to act? A- listen, if, if you ask me, I see the same thing. You know what I'm saying? I don't see no pull up jump shot. I, I don't see a, a better handle and going right. I just see like basically put your head down, get to the basket, get to the rim, uh, make occasional spot up three. I'm seeing what I normally see from RJ. What I want to see is RJ going right, RJ going off the dribble, shooting the pull-up, you know, getting easy money. Do you feel this is the writing on the wall for RJ this season? Oh, this is the telltale season right here. For the coach? No, for RJ, for the coach, for Julius. You know, it's it's certain players that's going into like they put their fourth season fourth coaching year, fourth fourth season in New York. So, I mean, like, by now, you should be comfortable with the surroundings. You should be comfortable with the, the, the situation that you have around you, and you should be flourishing. And if we got to the second round, and we really should have got to the Eastern Conference Championship, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I thought Thibodeau got outcoached, you know what I'm saying? He didn't make the proper adjustments, but that's just, you know, that's my take. Okay. All right, that's what it is, my man. The OG, sign off. Let them know who you is one more time. No doubt. It's the OG, Predicate. I'm out. And we out.